Dad. It's me, your oldest son, Giuseppe. Since your brother Con died last year, and your mother earlier this year, I bet it's got you thinking about your life, what you've achieved, and will you be remembered when you're gone. Well, let's start at the beginning, shall we? You were born in the small town of Solidino, Sicily, the youngest of ten, born to Giuseppe and Marianna Valenti. Times were tough in Sicily, and eventually your parents decided to join their other children in Australia in late 1964, hoping to make a better life for themselves. It was around this time that you attended Brunswick East Primary School, where a girl in your class told you that you were better looking than Elvis Presley. We'll never live that one down, will we? You were only there for a couple of months before you left school to start working. The following year, your father became ill and with your mother, returned to Sicily, where he later passed away. You were only 14. It must have been hard on you. You started working full time, picking potatoes in Gippsland, and eventually started concreting with your brother Sam. You moved to West Meadows with your mother, and when you were 18, bought your first car, brand new from the Ford factory in Broadmeadows. You loved that car, and loved going out with your mates in it. You met Rosa when you were 20, and the two of you celebrated your engagement on your 21st birthday. The two of you were married a few months later. You soon went into partnership with your brothers, Paul and Con, and together formed Broadmeadows Paving, where you worked for the next seven years. In those years, you achieved a lot of things, built your first home, and mum gave birth to three sons, Giuseppe, Morris and Anthony. How proud you were to have three boys. There was nothing you wouldn't do for us, you wanted the best for your family. In 1981, you bought your own truck and started your own business. Not long after that, you sold your first home and built your second, only a stone's throw away from your old place. Your youngest child, Anne-Marie, was born in 1985. Yes, it was a girl, even though you screamed, It's a boy! in the hospital. The 80s was a good decade. You had a new house, a new statesman, a new ute. You were the king of the world. Then, one day, out of the blue, something happened. You got sick, couldn't work, couldn't do quotes, and decided to stop your business. Mum didn't care, though. She was right beside you the whole way, for better or for worse, remember? That's what marriage is all about, and that's what she showed us. You eventually started working with your brother again, and were back to your normal self in no time. You worked there for the next 10 years, and have since bought a holiday house in Rosebud. Or at least, Mum did, while you were out working one day. Even though you didn't always get the opportunity to see me compete in cross-country, athletics and playing football for West Meadows, you always supported me, like driving me to Craigieburn for my first guitar lessons. You slept in the ute while I was inside. These days, I'm a lead singer in a band, still playing my guitar. Even though you can't believe that I get up and actually sing in front of people, you always tell me that you couldn't do it even if they paid you $1 million. That doesn't matter though, Dad, because you're the hardest working man I know. All that you have is from breaking your back for your family. You've got a lovely wife, four kids, and a beautiful granddaughter, all who love you. You've taught us that family comes first and that you must always work hard for what you want. I cherish the moments when I get to work alongside you and my brothers. No one can take away the memories we have all shared together over the years. So look back on your life, Dad, and see all the good you and Mum have done, and know that your children are proud of everything you've done for us, and I'm sure your father too will be proud of the man you grew to be, the man you are now, and all that you have achieved. But like your beloved wine, just remember, it gets better with age, so I guess the best is yet to come.